nobody's expecting. I mean, something like this? Yeah, come on. Huh? It'll be kind of like a special occasion. There has been a lot of speculation and tidbits of news surrounding a new Stargate series potentially coming to Amazon since their purchase of the MGM library. With creator Brad Wright's pilot episode already written, and while we patiently wait for Amazon to give him the green light, it got us thinking about the stories Brad will be bringing us. So when we learned the exciting news that Brad was hosting a live stream table read with three of the original Stargate SG-1 cast members on the companion app May 21st, we asked ourselves, is there any connection here to what we may see on Amazon in the future? And we believe there is. So you don't want to miss this episode. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so now. And give us a thumbs up if you want more news about your favorite shows. Also, click the notification bell to never miss an episode. And make sure you stay tuned to the end to see how to get this awesome Stargate Oh For Crying Out Loud Jack O'Neill inspired graphic design from the amazing artists at MixTees.com. The Companion Apps table read on May 21st is going to be the most exciting Stargate since, well, the first table read back in November. Except this time, the table is being joined by the leader of Stargate SG-1, Richard Dean Anderson as Jack O'Neill. This is the first time he has read dialogue for his character since 2013's mobile game Stargate SG-1 Unleashed. And it's the first appearance as Jack O'Neill since Stargate Universe's first season in 2010. We'll show you shortly why his joining this event is important to the future of Stargate. So just keep him in the back of your mind for a second. If you weren't aware, the most interesting aspect about this event is that the script we are about to experience wasn't written by Brad Wright. It was written by artificial intelligence. Crazy, right? This is now the second table read of scripts created 100% by AI that was fed the entire body of Stargate scripts and was programmed to respond as each character might in an original script. The idea was sparked while Brad and companion app co-creator Lawrence Coe were having a working meeting. And what started out as a funny idea quickly became a reality. Last November, the first Stargate AI table read launched thanks to Google AI's Lawrence Moroni. The actors featured in the event included Michael Shanks as Daniel Jackson, Amanda Tapping as Samantha Carter, David Hewlett as Rodney McKay, and Jewel State as Jennifer Keller. And while the actors and the fans watching had a lot of fun, the joke that turned into an actual event did something that hadn't been done in a long time. It brought the Stargate family together again, and this alone may be the key to a successful new Amazon series that helps put the band back together. But before we explain exactly why, as well as show you a sneak peek of Amanda Tapping reading Samantha Carter for the upcoming Stargate AI 2, let us first tell you that whether you're in a Zoom table read, making YouTube videos, or listening to your favorite podcast video, make sure you are listening with earbuds from this video sponsor, Raycon. We started the year looking for the best earbuds available on the market, and we found them. Raycons have added a whole new level to our shows, whether we are live, editing, or collaborating with other YouTubers. The sound is incredible. If you haven't considered Raycon's everyday earbuds, give them a try. Raycon's look, feel, and sound better than ever. With optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds are so comfortable. Trust me, with 8 hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life, Raycon's are priced just right. You get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. Whatever your daily Daily activity, Raycons stay in your ear no matter what. It's no wonder Raycons Everyday Earbuds have over 49,000 five-star reviews. Plus, they are Siri and Alexa compatible. Do you prefer cable-free? Try Raycons wireless charging feature. Support our channel and treat yourself. Treat yourself. It's the best day of the year. Click on the link in the description below or go to buyraycon.com slash popcast to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Grab a pair of these amazing earbuds and improve your audio life today. Having a chance to see and hear Jack, Daniel, and Samantha interact with each other again regardless of who wrote the script is exciting enough. 
but AI2 has had some significant upgrades over the first table read six months earlier. Version 2.0 has been refined, with a great number of more focused models producing scenarios and dialogue that are more coherent. Let's take a sneak peek at the upcoming table read. Here is Amanda Tapping as Samantha Carter. Let's see if you can figure out what gets everyone excited at the end. Exterior, Serekin Planet, Dusk. A young woman stands at the side of a cliff. She waits, knowing that her death will mean the end of all. She watches the sunset, the moon rises, she jumps. Exterior, Jungle Planet, Day. Samantha Carter works through the underbrush. She looks at a scanner in her hand, it beeps quietly. She peers at it a little and then, suddenly, a large ape-like being with razor sharp teeth crashes through the undergrowth. With a roar, it charges at her fangs bare. Samantha rolls to the side, barely dodging a swipe of the creature's massive hands. She runs through the trees, falls, and grabs her arm. The creature looms over her. Its eyes meet hers only inches from her face. It pulls back to swing. A strange cry, a high-pitched chirping. A figure with long, dark blue feathered wings sweeps up the creature from behind, knocking it over, winding it. Another chirp, another winged figure, the size of a horse, a bright glow on the ape-like creature's face. It screams and then falls silent, dead. One of the feathered creatures approaches Samantha. Its eyes glow blue. It looks like the computer was able to bring back Stargate's original villain, the Goa'uld. This is just a taste of what's to come. But the more important question is, what is this all leading up to? Is it just a bunch of old friends getting together to have some fun? Oh, yeah. Or is there more to it? The reality is that these AI table reads have breathed new life into the original actors. They seem to be falling in love with their characters again. And the more we listen to their discussions and interviews, the more we are hearing how much they would like to reprise their roles and work together again. These experiences have likely given Brad more confidence writing old characters into new scripts, and the banter and dialogue must be sparking a renewed creativity that we felt when we watched Stargate for the first time. No longer in possession of one's faculties, three fries short of a happy meal. What? It also wouldn't surprise us at all if Brad wrote upcoming scripts using some inspiration from the AI and the experiences around these table reads. Amazon now has a pilot script, the co-creator of the show, original producers and actors who want to reprise their roles more than any time since Stargate was taken off the air. And a lot of these is thanks to these AI script table reads. The pieces are all in place to make this one of the easiest production decisions Amazon has ever made. Amazon will know they have the right people to launch a series, but what else do they need? They need to know we will show up to watch. There is something we can all do as a fandom to help. Make sure you go and sign the Amazon Launch Stargate petition at savethegate.org. We will be sending the results of that petition to Amazon soon. Now that Stargate is ending its run on all streaming services, send tweets to at Amazon Studios asking them not only to create new Stargate, but also to make every episode of the franchise available to fans on Amazon Prime. Obviously, I hooked up with someone. And make sure you use hashtags WeWantStargate and SaveTheGate. A flood of these requests will send a signal to decision makers that our fan base is worth investing in. Is Brad Wright's AI table reads laying the groundwork for future Stargate on Amazon? We believe so. But what do you think? Are you going to watch the upcoming AI event? Do you think they are just having fun or is it the beginning of something bigger? What types of Stargate stories would you like to see in the future? If you want to see the upcoming AI event on May 21st and watch the original event as well, visit the companion app for more information. There is a link in the dropdown. Also, check out this awesome Stargate O for Crying Out Loud Jack O'Neill inspired graphic design from the amazing artists at MixTees.com. Get 20% off your purchase by using coupon code THEPOPCAST. The link is in the description below. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Life is too short.